Hi, I'm Kylie Bomley from Our Little Acre in Ohio, and I'm part of the Troy Belt Saturday 6 team. And it is a Saturday morning here, and today I'm going to be trying out the Troy Belt uh, Professional Series 2700 Pressure Washer. I've got a table and two benches over here that I've had for many, many years, so they've got a lot of buildup on the cement, so I'm going to try to clean that all off. When the pressure washer arrived, my husband put it together and it was pretty easy, he said. Before you start the pressure washer, you need to hook up your hose there in front and make sure the water's on. And then you need to make sure your fluid levels, the gas and the oil, are sufficient. Turn the on and off switch to on and it has a pull start. So here we go. There's also an attachment, it's a surface cleaner that you can attach to the end of the wand. There's a quick connect. You just pull back on and remove the original no hose nozzle and then attach it to the surface cleaner. This service attachment is that it directs the spray and you don't have a lot of overspray as you're cleaning the surface. Underneath of that is a wand that, that circulates, uh, rotates around from the center. It's got two nozzles, one on each end of it. And as you can see, it does a really nice job on this cement. As I was using it, I was really amazed at how quickly and how easily it cleaned everything off. That was truly my first time using it. I know how we're going to be spending the next few Saturdays. 
We have a lot of cement to clean and uh, we can also use it on our house to clean off the siding. We've got a two-story house and this one has enough pressure that it will be able to reach the top level of the house so we can clean that also. So there you have it. It's very easy to use. It works well. Um, some things to remember, it does, does have a kick when you turn it on, so make sure you're ready for that. You can try it out before you actually use it on the item that you're cleaning, just so you get a feel for it. Um, if you want more information on it, you can go to Troy Built's website, which is www.troybuilt.com. And for um, more information on my website, you can go to www.ourlittleacre.com.